Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I wanted to bring you guys the best farming army for Tunnel 6 to use and basically today I wanted to start a series basically where I just use a lot of different armies and show you guys what I think is the best. So my feeder account Marcus is a Town Hall 7 and I wanted to show you guys what I used to farm and that's basically just Sparge and in my opinion that's the best army you can use for Tunnel 7. And in this series, I'm going to be going through each tunnel level, show you guys the best farming armies and the best trophy armies slash clan war armies you can use. And I'm going to be starting at tunnel 7 today. And then once I max up my tunnel 7, I'm going to be going up to tunnel 8 and 9. And then I will show you guys what I use and what I personally think is the best, cheapest and just the overall best troop compositions to use. And today I wanted to start off with this Tunnel 7. I think Barge is probably the best army you can use for Tunnel 7 as a farming army. And I wanted to show you guys a replay today and then a live attack on how you would use Barge and how you can make it the most effective. So this first base we attack here is a Tunnel 8. It's a pretty premature base. And what I'm starting off doing is I take out the... Um, mortar to take it out with two of my lightning spells and I personally prefer taking lightning spells over rage or heal spells using barge. I mean it's pretty effective to use heal spell too but I think lightning spells are the cheapest and you can take out the defensive buildings which is probably the best thing you can do. So what you do is you take out two of the corners and then you send in the rest of your troops through the middle and this helps you create a path so your troops go down the center and don't wander around the base and then I dropped my clan castle it had, a, it had hawks in there which helped out a lot and then I just spammed on my barbs and archers you don't want to drop too many at once you want to drop a couple at a time because the splash damage could take them out and you don't want that to happen so I dropped a couple of my troops at once and it looks like we are making our way through the base looks pretty solid and we are getting most of the loot so there's one more storage with gold in there and then we should have most of the loot in this base and um, it looks like this could be a three star if that wizard tower doesn't take out too many of, and too many of my archers so yeah we took down the last splash damage beside that wizard tower and now it's just a matter of cleaning up the rest of the space and it looks like we got most of the loot already and we're at 73% making our way around the base. I do have a king level 3 which helps out quite a bit and I basically just got him through farming dark elixir with barge 2. So yeah that's definitely a pretty efficient army to use if you want to uh, farm elixir, gold or even dark elixir. Okay so there's not a lot of um, units left on this base, it's just my king and so we're gonna end it here. Um, and we got a good amount of loot. So um, right now we should probably um, do a life attack and then see what we can get from um, a base. So I'll be back once I found a raid. Okay, so we're back. I think we found a raid we can attack right here. Um, this base does have a lot of um, elixir, 286,000. It doesn't have a lot of gold, but we're mainly going after the elixir anyways. So we're going to attack this base. It looks like it's a pretty decently upgraded tunnel 7 his walls look pretty good and his splash damage isn't too bad at a level 2 so we're gonna try to get to most of that elixir and we're gonna be using barge again so I'm gonna start off by dropping two of my lightning spells on that mortar because that wizard tower is kind of exposed and it doesn't have as big of a range and it's not um, too far inside the base so we can take out that mortar first and then we can drop our troops and distract that wizard tower and we probably want to take him out first because he can do a lot of damage if we don't take him out early on. So I'm going to drop a couple of my troops, drop my king to take all the damage from that wizard tower. And then we're going to drop a couple of archers behind and it should take out that wizard tower pretty easily. And then we, um, we're going to drop the rest of our troops to go into the core of the base and take out most of the buildings. So that wizard tower, it looks like it's going down. And now we're going to drop the rest of our troops at the top to take out both of the corners. So the bottom one and the right corner and then the rest of our troops should go down the middle once we drop them. So we are dropping our barbs and archers. A giant bomb went off but that shouldn't be a problem because we didn't drop all of our troops at once. And that's also a reason why you don't want to drop all your troops at once because it's going to get taken out if you don't, um, if you don't drop your troops all at once. 
So yeah, um, we're gonna drop most of our troops and now we're gonna drop our archers at the bottom and then most of them on the right side to, because that's where they go into the core of the base. And we might actually have a chance on that dark elixir which is pretty far inside but let's just see how we can do. So I drop my clan castle, there's one giant in there and then we have a whole bunch of archers kind of bunched up and that kind of worries me because of that uh, mortar that could take them out with one hit. So it looks like we're making our way through. There's one giant and it looks like he is going for that mortar. So let's see how he does. So the giant is going through. The archers are taking out a lot of the buildings. And now that giant is actually distracting that wizard tower. So that's quite a um, quite unexpected. But that giant did actually um, help quite a bit. So we're going to be able to get that dark elixir right there. And get most of the loot in the space, and there's almost no loot left over. So a very successful attack. I didn't ex ex um, expect to get the dark elixir, but yeah, it looks like a very solid attack. And as you guys can see, we got most of the loot, and just a very good army strategy. So if you are a tunnel seven, I was it's the quickest to train, and it is also very efficient. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna show you guys some clan war attacks in the future. And basically that's going to be it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I hope um, you leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next video.